Hey friends, and welcome in to A Walk Through the Word, Daily Bread with Crystal Fry. I am your host, Crystal Fry, and today we are continuing our 30-day journey through the book of Ephesians. In this episode, we're diving into chapter 5, verse 21, and opening up that often very touchy topic, submission. Thank you for being here with me today, and I pray that you will listen with an open heart to hear the Word of God speaking to you. All right, friends, let's dive in. God's Word is powerful. The missing link is our identity in Christ. When we know who we are and who He created us to be, that is when we can truly walk in freedom. You are never alone. There is hope, and that hope is Jesus Christ. In today's episode, we're digging into the topic of submission in chapter 5, verse 21, which reads, Submit to one another out of reverence for Christ. The word submit tends to bring up so many opinions, especially as it pertains to husbands and wives, which we will be talking about in the next two episodes. But today, let's take a look at submission in more general terms. One of the reasons I think many of us struggle so much with this concept of submission is that we fail to remember or to recognize that this instruction to submit is all about mutual submission. Paul says, submit to one another, not, hey, you go submit to that person over there. I think another reason we struggle with this concept is that because we forget it's about mutual submission, we make the mistake of thinking that submission equals a loss of our rights and freedom as an individual and a loss of our ability to make decisions for ourselves. The verse says, submit to one another out of reverence for Christ. It does not say, give yourself over as a hostage to someone so that they can rule your life. But because of the ideas and the narrative that this world has created and perpetuated around the word and concept of submission, we tend to view submission or submitting to someone else as a totally and completely negative thing. And yes, when we think of authoritarian rulers or cruel dictators, even abusive bosses, when we think of situations that are only beneficial for the person who is wielding the power, indeed, submission is a frightening idea. But that is not the context in which Paul wrote these words. The Life Application Study Bible says this, quote, Christ, at whose name every knee should bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth, submitted his will to the Father, and we honor Christ by following his example. End quote. Jesus submitted to the will of his Father to be born of a virgin to share the good news of salvation for all during his ministry, and then to be crucified, die an excruciating physical death, and then to experience a glorious resurrection. He submitted to the will of his Father out of unconditional, unending love for the Father and for us. And because of his obedience, we are no longer automatically condemned to death, but we are offered the gift of eternal life through salvation. Now, I don't know about you, but personally, 
I am eternally grateful that Christ was obedient in his submission to the Father's will. The world would have you believe that submission is about power and authority in a negative context. However, I don't believe that that is accurate. I believe that way of viewing submission is a very inaccurate perversion of the biblical view of submission. It's my belief that submitting to one another out of reverence for Christ is about love and honor and respect for each other. In a blog post I read while researching biblical submission, I came across this by A.W. Holt. Quote, Biblical submission assumes equality because it is a volitional act of humility in letting another lead. Like love, submission can never be forced upon or demanded of. Submission is a gift freely given to another in humility, not the humiliation extracted by force from a weaker person. End quote. So what could this look like in your daily life? Outside of marriage, which as I said earlier in the episode, we're going to talk about over the next two episodes, we can look at submission as us being less self-centered, putting the needs of others before our own, respecting and honoring the people we are in relationship with, genuinely listening, offering our support, following their lead when it is appropriate and in alignment with what God's will is. I often think of mutual submission as working together for the benefit of both parties, a synergistic relationship, if you will. Ultimately, we should all be working together to bring glory to God And submitting to one another out of reverence for Christ is certainly a way that we can give God glory. Thank you, friend, for being here with me today. And I hope you'll join me tomorrow as we continue this 30-day journey through Ephesians. If you're looking for a more in-depth resource to help you study the book of Ephesians, either by yourself or with a group, check out my new book, A Walk Through the Word, Unpacking and Applying the Book of Ephesians, now available on Amazon. And I will drop the link down in the show notes so that you can go check it out. Friend, we have four more episodes in chapter five, and our next episode is going to focus on verses 22 through 24, three verses that often get misused and misrepresented regarding wives and submission. Until then. Hey friend, thank you so much for joining me on the show today. It's my pleasure as always to be here with you. If what you listened to today resonated with you, if you enjoyed listening to the show, do me a favor, go ahead and like and subscribe to this podcast and leave a review. Those reviews are so helpful. I can't even tell you how much I appreciate each and every single one of them. And go ahead and share this episode out with a friend. Invite them along for a walk through the word and let's enjoy that daily bread together. See you tomorrow.